Pardot Visitor Filters. In this lecture, we're going to learn more about Pardot Visitor Filters. So first, let's understand why should we actually use Pardot Visitor Filters. Businesses choose to create visitor filters to exclude some type of activities, visits, and clicks from their campaign results, or to suppress email notifications sent based on the page actions from specific IP addresses. What type of filters should you exclude? Most common is to exclude companies and bot IP addresses to avoid skewing your campaign reports. Where can I set visitor filters? To create new Pardot visitor filter, you will need to go to your Pardot app, click on Pardot settings tab, select visitor filters, and click on plus add new visitor filter button. Give your filter a meaningful name following your internally agreed naming convention. Select the right type you wish based on your requirements. So for example, you can exclude an IP address or IP wildcard. This option is great for individual IPs. For example, your home office. Just make sure that your service provider does not change IP addresses. Also, if at any point you reset your router and modem, it can actually change your IP address, so be careful. Second option is to exclude a host name or host name wildcard. This is a great option for large companies and office buildings where you have many floors and many meeting rooms and potentially each of them can have a different IP address within a specific range. When you're ready, click Create Filter button. Now, you may ask, can you exclude your own frequent tests or your own visits on a daily basis that you make to your website and make sure they don't appear in your marketing campaign reports? And the answer is simple. Yes, surely you can. Just please make sure then you add your IP address in your visitor filters. This way, your frequent website visits and clicks won't actually be tracked and exaggerate any of your campaign results. The only thing you need to know to keep in mind that there is actually other flip side of the coin that I'm going to tackle in the next question. And the next question is why I am not receiving a notifications when I'm actually testing the form. So here you go. If you have had previously set up a visitor filter for your IP address or domain, your activity will be filtered out. So whenever you're actually trying or planning to do any tests and you see nothing is really happening, you then need to actually go to your visitor filters and check if your specific IP address is not already there and then remove it so you can actually properly then test all notification filters. Can actually bot page actions and clicks impact your campaign stats? Yes, unfortunately they can. Although there is a Pardot stock visitor filters that cover the most common bots, they won't be able to cover all of them. As unfortunately, there is actually no code or technology that actually can tell Pardot whether that was a bot or a real person. So, I mean, there might be those few little different weird clicks that sometimes appear, but I mean, in general, you should be fine. Summary. In the article about email stat protection published on the 7th of December in 2020, Pardot shared that they have now built in a metrics guard for emails to watch for activity that are not part of your hard-earned metrics. This brand new service monitors email clicks and opens to identify patterns that are clearly bot-based and it keeps those activities out of Pardot entirely. In the first week, Metrics Guard for emails kept 2 million scanned clicks from inflating our marketing metrics and triggering actions that shouldn't have happened. And the best part of the service is that it's totally hands-off. So for you, there's actually no any new actions required.
So, I mean, surely Pardot will never be able to fully guarantee that there are no weird clicks from bots or anything like that. But in general, Pardot and Salesforce are working hand in hand together to make sure our marketing metrics are safe and show you the exactly correct number that is there for you to know. Thank you.